Salutations Crustaceans, I'm Lobster, and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Hoffner Shorty Vase. Let's do this. So in this box is the Hoffner Shorty Short Scale Travel Base. As a traveling baseman, it's always good to have a base handy, you see, so I always like to take out my Hoffner Shorty here, and we go ahead and we slap that thing silly. Hoffner built this thing for the bassist who wants to take a base whenever they travel, either on vacation, for business, for work, for pleasure. Uh, always good to have a base handy without having to hunt down a music store. And Hoffner is looking to offer a travel option for you. Now the brand Travel Guitars offers a bass that I believe is around $4.99, where these basses brand new are $1.99. A much more palatable price for something that you're going to be taking on the road with you potentially. Well, let's go ahead and open this box and see what's the deal with the Hoffner Shorty. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. A little box. Look how little this is. has a little case. Look at that. It has a little case. A little case for the little base. There we go. Let's go ahead and put the stuff down. Here we go. This is the Hoffner Shorty. This thing is about the length of one of my arms. Um, it's not a big base, but it's a base. Looks to have decently wide spacing. Good neck profile, too. It's not super thin. It's, it's, it's a bit weird. To play, but it works. Let's let's see what it sounds like. So there is a single pickup and a volume and a tone. Not a lot going on here. It's a passive setup, so there's no batteries needed. The pickup and the electronics are both passive. All you need to do is plug her in. This is kind of difficult to play on my lap. I'm going to see if there's a strap included because... I just need to get a little comfortable with it. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, tr I'm trying here, so... Okay, so I'm, I'm finding this a bit difficult to play.
The neck finish is a bit on the rough side. Not the smoothest neck in the world. Fret job is good. There's no pokey frets. The action out of the box on this one is a bit on the higher side. I think it needs about a quarter turn on the truss rod here to get this thing a bit more playable. But even then, the leg cutaway here doesn't give me enough, I guess, grip to play this thing comfortably. Perhaps wearing non-flannel pants that I enjoy um, would make this a little grippier, but... I also find my wrist resting on it in a way that I don't like. Very carpal tunnel-y. Let's turn the tone Let's turn the tone down a little bit, see what that sounds like. Here's the tone at like 50%. sound terrible, but again, I'm not enjoying the playing experience with this thing. The tuners are not terrible quality. They're actually pretty accurate and they're holding too nicely. The bridge seems to be a pretty nice high-ish mass bridge. It looks pretty solid. Nothing wrong with the aesthetics here. Again, I'm just finding this bass uncomfortable. Okay, here, here's the tone all the way down. Tone back up. Does it slap? Yeah, <laughs> no, not not great. And I wish this pickup was a bit more central. Having a single humbucker by the bridge isn't really giving me the best the best tones here especially with a single pickup setup. A single pickup setup. Single pickup. So yeah, with a single pickup setup, I wish that the pickup was a bit more central. Give this thing a bit more of a deeper tone. So here's my final thoughts on the Hofner Shorty. Meh. It's not great. And for 200 bucks, I know that it's a travel focused instrument, but you can get a lot for 200 bucks nowadays in the cheaper instrument market, as well as in the used market. And I don't think this is a very good value proposition. The playing positions without a strap are extremely uncomfortable in my opinion and the tones that you get out of it aren't great. You know, if I was traveling somewhere and was staying there for a while, I'd have a Harley Benton shipped there for the same price that I'd be paying for this. The regular price for these bases is $200. Yes, $200 for this little thing. Harley Benton, that Stingray that I had, I believe was $120 to $130 price kind of fluctuates a little bit. 
but at the end of the day, you can get that little Stingray plus shipping to wherever you're going, uh, and you'd probably have some money left over versus this thing, which doesn't really give me a lot of confidence, honestly. If I were to be traveling somewhere, I'd want to play an instrument that I could enjoy. If I'm staying in a hotel room or with a friend, I'd rather have a headphone amp and a small bass that I had shipped there and then either ship it back or fly with it back, figure something out there. But I would not have an instrument like this that would kind of suck the joy out of playing bass because that's what this did for me. Uh, I did not enjoy playing this instrument. The tones, the feel, the out of the box setup, the overall just ergonomics of it, I didn't like. Um, not really digging this. So what am I going to rate the Hofner Shorty Bass? Ugh. I'm going to rate this one claw out of five. It's down there with the Hard Luck Kings in terms of quality and playability. This isn't really a great instrument. I'm not enjoying it. It has, spec-wise, not a bad setup here. A humbucker, 24 frets, a solid neck profile, but the ergonomics and the tones that you get out of this thing aren't really inspiring and aren't really great. I'd probably save your money and put it elsewhere. We'll be checking out other travel instruments in the future, including the one from Travel Guitars. I know they have uh, at least one or two bass models, so we'll be checking out one of those in the future. Don't you worry. Uh, but until then, I'd probably steer clear of this one. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Hofner Shorty Bass. And as always, until we groove again.